Hello, my name is Todd Silvius, and thanks for downloading this video tutorial on how to access the Wimba Live Classroom guest link. To find the guest link, simply navigate to our summer school webpage and then find your teacher on that webpage. And to find the summer school webpage, we're going to go to any district homepage. I happen to have the district office webpage here, and you'll see this select a school option. We're going to select the first school on the, on the list as Infinity Cyber Academy. And you'll notice in the Get Your News Here area is a link for Summer School Program, Middle School and High School. Click that article. And then since we're going to go into my Wimba Live Classroom as a guest, simply click on my name here to jump to my little contact information spot. In the middle of my contact information spot, you'll see this really, really long blurb here. So just click on that. And what will open, depending on your browser settings, are two different windows. If one just opens, that's completely fine. In fact, this second one here that opened up for us automatically, we're going to close it and come back to a little bit. It has our participant login information that we're going to use in a bit. So just going to close that. There we go. And this page right here is what we're going to look at now. The most important thing I would say before we go into a Wimba Live Classroom is running this Wimba Setup Wizard. So let's run this Setup Wizard here so we can see what the Wimba Live Classroom Wizard is going to take our computer through. If you look over on the left hand side you'll see a series of checks and requirements needed for you to have a successful Wimba Live Classroom experience with your teacher. Among the checks are pop-up windows, it's going to check your Java version, it's going to um, ask you to pass an applet through your system, make sure that you have text checked, so on and so on um, down the list. All you have to do is follow the directions on the wizard carefully after you hit start. Now, I've already run this Wimba classroom setup wizard on my system so I know it's all prepped. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. But when you're ready, click on the setup wizard icon and hit start to start the wizard. Once you've passed the setup wizard and you've allowed all the different things to um, install on your system, you'll return back to this screen at which point you can click the participant login because you will be entering the classroom as a participant not a presenter. That would be me. So one click on the participant login and you'll see here we are back at that screen that initially first appeared that where it says participant login. Now the option that you're going to use for this Wimba classroom is the one that does not require a username and password. You're simply going to use the top one here where you can enter your name. So I'm going to enter my full name and hit enter. One more time, it says, are you sure you ran that wizard? <laughs> and it, if I do click on this Run Wizard button, it will open up the same Wimba Classroom wizard. It just wants to double check to make sure that as you, before you go into the Wimba Live Classroom, you've set your system up cor correctly so you have a successful experience. So, we've already run the wizard as I mentioned before. I'm just going to head on into the Wimba Classroom with this much smaller li link here. As this program opens up, you'll see a couple things happening on the screen. For example, down in the lower left area, this is the chat room area. And let me go full screen here for a second. This is the chat room area. If I wanted to send a chat, uh, and I can see my talk screen has logged in too. We'll get to that in a moment. If I wanted to send a chat to the entire room, I could say, hi room. Just to let everybody know that I'm here. And if I hit enter, it sent it to everybody else in the classroom with me at that same time, including the teacher and all the other students. If I wanted to send a question to the teacher and ask only him or her without any of my classmates seeing, using this side drop menu here, this would display all of the students who are currently in the classroom with me, including the teacher. 
I would select the teacher name from this menu and with that name selected the next chat that I type is delivered only to that teacher no one else in the classroom will see my teacher so for whatever privacy concerns a student might have um, uh, they can simply enter the chat in here and direct it right to the teacher or presenter in the class now you heard me mention the other students in the classroom well that list will happen right over here in this area this is called the roster and this simply delineates all of the other participants including the presenter of the classroom now remember even though my name is here and this is my classroom I've entered the classroom as a student or a participant in other words I've come in to the house from the front door if I were the presenter of this classroom I would go into the house from the back door and I would make sure that I sign in appropriately there however for this demonstration I'm a student or a participant in the classroom my peers and my other participants of this classroom would appear here as they log in one of the other areas in the roster section of the class are these feedback buttons for example this is a check mark and if I click on this you can see that over here in this area I have a green check mark placed next to my name a practical example of this would be if the teacher in the classroom says give me a green check mark if you understood what I just said there we go or if you don't understand place a red X in your box ah Todd I see you don't understand so um, where are you stuck let's help you get out of this and continue the, the presentation after helping that particular student if a student or participant has a question to ask of the presenter using this hand signal places a number one in the somebody's got a question row or column rather of the roster if one of my peers were to raise his or her hand as well the next person to raise their hand would get a two and a three and a four so on and so forth this allows the teacher to see hey there is a question but let's answer those questions in the order that they were asked I'll just take off my question now by clicking on the hand again and these are some familiar emoticons and once you select them an emoticon over here in the chat area will display a little bit of feedback for example I'll click on the smiley face and it says you are laughing now to everyone else in the classroom it would read my participant name so it would say on their chat screens Todd Silvius is laughing however what I'm seeing on my chart my my screen is that I am laughing let me put that status back in again there we go and over here in this area of the roster you can see my emoticon status as well okay I'm gonna take that off by selecting the blank there we go it's removed this area over here is primarily used for the te uh, by the teacher or presenter however students have access to it shows how many people are in the classroom if the list gets really long how many yeses how many no's questions and so on and so forth it gives a quick pulse of the of the classroom activity for the presenter to have up while he or she presents the next area over here are the talk buttons and we'll talk about those in the next tutorial of the Wimba Live Classroom Part 2